me even as I am with Christ. And said, ain't nature told self teaching that it's a shame to wear a long hair for a man to do it. And they go, I can't do it anyway. Override the spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. And some of them smooth, psych, smooth talk off of good. But I'm a man and not a woman. I said, I'm a man. Jesus was a man among men. Sure he was. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mother, listen here. We're living under the new covenant. Let's walk for the new covenant. How many knows that? Pray to God. We ain't back under the Mosaic law. Amen. We ain't eating the word of God. We're getting the good spiritual words here. We're getting that flesh and that blood here. We're getting the real thing here, brother. Amen. Some of you don't mark up. Pray to God and do what God tells you to do. Don't pile no fun you pastor. Amen. Don't lay it off to somebody else. Don't say it to Brother Otto. It's old brother spirit and one of these other brothers. Just lay it off on your own self. Amen. But the natural side, brother, we need to 
spiritual realm, don't we? Uh, how many know spiritual realm? Boy, we need to get in God, don't we? Amen. Uh, oh, Lord, I wish somebody could really get a hold of what I'm preaching tonight. There's a natural and a spiritual. Now, look here. Listen now. I'm trying to tell you something now. As long as we live upon this earth, we're going to have a natural and also we got a spiritual. Amen. And listen. When you get up in the morning, here's a match at your own home. When we come to church, it's supposed to be a spiritual realm. How many knows that? We go pray for the sick, it's supposed to be a spiritual realm praying for them. Huh? Ain't that right? Huh? You know the reason some people can't ever get in the spirit? They're too far in the natural. It's a spiritual and it's a natural. That natural side is just to show us the spiritual realm. Amen. Look at here. David had two little old trees wasn't over that big mountain apart. I believe it was last year. And, and they wasn't this high. And I said, man, mine ain't far enough. And mine's old as his and older. I said, what in the world did you do to them trees, son? He grew that one that big He grew one that was almost three inches. And that man was breaking off now. What last year? Year before that. And look here. I said, what do you do to them, son? He said, well, when I set them out, I dug down and put all that good black dirt around them roots. And I believe, my God, that's why they're growing so good, buddy. And mine went back to two or three little old noddies about that big. I'm going to have to dig around mine to do something about it, you know. I'm going to have to dig around and try to hurt them and get them to come out of it. That natural tree's got to grow, same as the spiritual tree. How many knows that? Amen. That's a natural and that's a spiritual side. Huh? What the hell? You go out on the mail right every day, you're carrying a natural mail. But there's a spiritual mail inside of you. Huh? How many knows that? Jesus knows who he was. How many knows who you are? How many really knows who you are? Do you know who you are tonight? Huh? I know who I am. Huh? I ain't myself. Huh? I'm bought with the price. Huh? Jesus paid the price with the blood. Amen. I can't do what. This old man I used to do all the time. If I did, I get in trouble. We get in trouble if we don't watch sometimes, Brother Curry. Amen. Amen. But the spiritual realm is what we need, then. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Don't get me wrong now. And I said, because I said, that oil didn't do nothing. I believe in normal with oil. But the spiritual oil is more powerful than anything else. Spiritual word is more powerful than the natural. Huh? We're able body ministers. The Bible says we're able body. God has made us able body ministers Amen. of the spirit and not of the letter. Huh? For the Bible says the letter killeth, but the spirit. Huh? Able body ministers of the spirit, for the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. Huh? If all we had here with the Christ was a letter, no spirit would all be dead. Spirit's the life. How many believe the life is in the spirit? Huh? Jesus was the life that came down from heaven and gave life to this world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I know this to be the fact, the truth. When people repent, when people repent and start out, they got the promise of the Holy Ghost upon them. I can remember when I repented years ago, years and years ago, amen. And they teaching me down, Johnny Mead said, you need the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. And I said, man, I've got something. I feel good in the Lord. I feel good here. Something calls me to pray. But this is the truth. But this year, when it come on the inside of me, amen. I know that. I, nobody didn't have to speak. So look here. If he's speaking. But listen, you know, when he speaks, you don't know you got it to yourself. Amen. Amen. It'll come right out of there, praise the Lord. If people would understand, when they get it, they know they've got it. How many's a man? How many's a woman in here? Let's be men and women. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to be a man, don't you? Among men. Amen. I want somebody to see my light, don't you? I want to shine, be true to God. Amen. I hope you got something out of the preaching. Let me tell you this tonight. Amen. Unless we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we won't have no life in us. Huh? And as often as we do it, it's in remembrance of Jesus Christ. And this is 
This is showing you and me every time. Ain't you been? Ain't you been sometimes down, down kind of in the spirit, or seem like a uh, uh, thing? Gary, Gary's preached the message this year, and I, I be seem like just kind of wilder a little bit. And buddy, he preached one that seemed like life would come in like that. That's the truth, amen. And I couldn't hold it away. Praise God till the next service come. How many know what I'm talking about? That word through the life of the Spirit, brother, it causes you to do something in God. You know why? There's power in the Word. There's deliverance in that Word amen. through the anointing of God. If you got that anointing in you and that Word, amen, what Word comes out, God will bring remembrance of it to you. I know I was watching one of my boys preach, brother Gary, and I said, there ain't no way under the sun that that fellow can thank that pass of God unless the Holy Ghost is up on him and preach it wide open in the Holy Ghost, brother. And people sit there like this, like a knot on a log, and they wouldn't even name anybody. Four or five people say amen him on that little old tent, and him a preacher walking through the under the power of God and anointing, brother. And there was four or five people that got with him, brother. You think about that. If them people had the life of Jesus in them, it'd be like popcorn coming out of there, brother. Ain't you seen one very preacher sometimes? Some of them coming off and that safe like you. You know what that is? That's the water of the word, brother. Water in that word down the inside of that. I, I've had it quicken me, brother. When you when you preach, I've had that I've had that spirit quicken me, brother, and quicken my spirit like that. Amen. God's good. Amen. Let me know what I'm preaching. There's a natural and there's a spiritual, and I want the spiritual. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I ain't going to get plumb away from natural side. I throw it plumb in the creek and not do nothing with it. Because, listen here, we've got to have so much natural, but more of the Spirit. Huh? More of the Spirit you get, than the natural that come right in there. That's the truth. Amen. Natural is good, but spiritual is better. Amen. Praise the Lord. God showed me that. Spiritual is more better than the natural. We live by the Spirit more better and the life of that Word. That's what Jesus said. He didn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. He knew what he was talking about, didn't he? He knew he was a man among men. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. We ought to remember and take heed to a man of God preaching under such a great anointing of God. Church, listen here. This is true. Now I'm closing. Amen. You can't go, Brother Rocky. We can't just go anywhere and get a word from God. That's the truth. Can't go and get a good word from God. But listen here. I planted, I drove my stakes here with the branch. It's true. I drove my stakes here with the branch. I'm saved. Amen. I'm saved well this year. I ain't pulling up stakes and going somewhere else. I'm driving here. Amen. Praise God. And I know the word here. I know the living word of God is right here with the branch, buddy. And God's going to do something here. God's going to move here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to stay where the Word is. How many want to stay where the Word is? Amen. Give the Lord a great big hand. Does anybody like to pray tonight? The altar's open. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you'd like to pray and talk to Jesus, amen. Seek after Him. Call upon Him. Praise the Lord. God's good. Amen. Each and every one of us stay in the spiritual realm and stay in the place and seek after God and everything else will fall right in place for them. Amen. You know, homes are being busted up. You folks know I'm telling you the truth. Homes are being busted up because people won't pull together in the Holy Ghost and say, look here, let's see this thing like. Amen. Praise the Lord. And pray about it. Let God honor that. Amen. Things will work out for them. God's a good God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I've never found any better than God. I've never found any place any better to go to than right here. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I've been to a lot of places in Tucker Palm Street. I really have. I've, I've, I've worked with lots of ministers. I worked with Brother Damon. I worked with Johnny Meese. And I worked with lots of pastors. This is true. And I ain't never worked with nobody no better than I worked with Gary. And anybody, anybody tries to say something again? I'm just like this. I'm just like a setting he and Buddha's here. We got them biddies, Buddha's, and I'm ready to plug you. That's all he's doing. I ain't gonna let somebody sit around and talk about my fight and run him into dirt, brother. I'm gonna hold up for it. How many gonna hold up for it? Huh? You got somebody good, buddy. Stick with him. Stay with him, man. Amen. God's good. Missy wants to sign on. Anybody wants to pray, they hold us over. Sandy be ready to sing.
Jesus. Amen.